guys, it's Asia for Life, and today I'm going to be doing a DIY video. I'm going to be showing you guys some DIY Pinterest inspired desk decor for your American Girl dolls. So right now I'm making my doll office and that is gonna be my next video. It's my new Back Out the Doll House video. But before I post that video, I'm going to be showing you guys some DIYs for a doll office or just for your doll desk or bedroom. I got the ideas from Pinterest, so they're all Pinterest inspired. And let's get right into the video. <laughs> For this, you're going to need some cork. You can also use cardboard if you want, popsicle sticks, a binder clip, glue, scissors, and paper. So begin by taking your cork. You can also use cardboard, but I'm just using cork board because it gives it a really nice texture, and I just cut that into a rectangle shape. And now you made it, but I so this part is pretty much optional. I just thought it would be cool to give it like a wood panel look. I just took some popsicle sticks and I measured them and I marked them with a pencil and then I just cut them and the edges were really rough when I cut them so I used a nail file to round it off and make them more smooth. So then I just took my wood and I glued them all to the cork using some hot glue and that's pretty much it for the base of our clipboard but for the top clip part I just used a binder clip and I feel like this is the easiest way to make a doll clipboard is to just use a binder clip as the clip part so I just clipped that onto the top. Now moving on to the calendar portion, so I just began by cutting some white computer paper into rectangles, making sure that you would be able to see some of the wood from underneath so that you could still see the clipboard. So now on to the design part, I looked up pictures on Pinterest and I really like the watercolor design. I'll insert some pictures so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I just took my paint and I put a little swatch on the top and then I wrote the month with a black pen as well as the grid with all the days and that's pretty much it for the calendar and yes i did film this back in march i'm so sorry guys i wasn't able to upload it quicker but anyways i just did that for march april and may i stacked them and then i just put them onto my clipboard and that's it this is definitely one of my favorites i just think it is super cute and really realistic for the dolls For the grid, you're going to need some bamboo skewers, some paint. I'm using gold, but you can really use any color you want. Um, you're going to need hot glue and some scissors. Okay, so this is going to sound kind of confusing the way I'm explaining it, but just stay with me. I Trust me, it's really simple. So all you're going to need are your bamboo skewers and just cut four pieces that are the exact same length. And then you're going to form a square out of them like I'm doing here. And you're going to use hot glue to glue that all together. And this square is going to be the base of our grid. And just a side note, don't mind my nails. My nail color changes like five times throughout the whole video. So now we're going to be taking three bamboo skewers that are the exact same length. And this is going to separate our like little squares in our grid. So as you can see, they just should fit nicely into our square base. And I just glued them and made it equal lengths. Sorry, this is like really hard for me to explain, but you could just see what I'm doing here and you could just see what it looks like. Now I cut little pieces of my bamboo skewer and they should fit nicely into the sections we made. And I just cut a bunch of these. I think I glued three within each section. So it should be 12 in total. And as you can see, each section has four little cubes inside. And when you're gluing the rest of them, make sure that they are forming a line. You don't want them to be to the side. You want to make sure they are in line so that it looks correctly when it's done. So once you're done with your grid, you can just begin painting it. So I used some gold paint. You can also use black, silver, or white, or any other color you want. But those are like the main ones that these grids usually come in for people. So um, I just painted mine gold with a couple coats and that is it. You can really hang anything you want on this grid. I didn't really add a lot of stuff yet but I eventually will. But just showing you here, you can hang sunglasses, artwork, posters, and you can use mini clothespins to hang stuff up. Downtown we let it go. Sunset high and I'm putting low. Blood rushing 
For the globe, you're going to need some thin cardboard, a bamboo skewer, hot glue, a ping pong ball, or you can use any other like ball you have. I just had a ping pong ball though. You're also going to need some paint and the ring from a water bottle. Begin by taking your ping pong ball and just take your bamboo skewer and puncture it through the ball. So making sure that there's a little piece at the top and a little piece at the bottom. Now you can paint it. You can use any color you want. I just used this really pretty blue color. And once that dried, I took different colors of paint and I attempted to paint the continents. As you can see, they just look like blobs though, but that's perfectly fine. So now you're going to tilt your globe and take the ring from the water bottle and like glue it to both sides and make sure that the globe is tilted on the side or else it's not going to look like a globe. So now you're going to take some cardboard and cut it into circles and I stacked them and filed them so that the edges were smooth and then I took my gold paint and as you can see I put the bead in between the cardboard and the ring and I just painted that all with some gold paint, let it dry, and that's it. I think this is so, so cute, and it's really realistic as well. For the clock, you're going to need some thin cardboard. I'm actually using a like coaster that was cardboard because it's a circle already you're also going to need some paint some hot glue and a bead as you can see i just took my coasters and they were a little bit too big so i had to cut it down and then i just used a coat of white paint to make sure it was all nice and clean in one color and then i just took some tape and i separated my clock into like a triangle so that i was able to um, make a design and it wouldn't get all over the clock. So I made a grid design and then I just peeled away the tape and it left me with a really nice edge. I also added in some pink paint and I took a green sharpie and made a triangle with the green but that just didn't look good so I went back in, cut a piece of marble contact paper and I stuck that onto there and I think it looked much better. And then I took a bead and I glued it right in the center with some hot glue and for the hands of the clock I used some thin cardboard and hot glued that on. And then I also wrote some numbers with a black sharpie to make it look a little bit better. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also please subscribe to my channel for more videos. And make sure you turn on my post notifications to be notified whenever I post a new video. Thanks again for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!